We have more talk about a potential Steelers reunion. But who could I possibly be talking about? Well, if you clicked on this video, you know from the thumbnail. Let's discuss further. Big Deke news. Now you may be saying, come on Deke. How many of these damn Steeler reunions do we got to talk about? My answer is as many as possible because we all love a good comeback story. Let's just admit it. I mean, we have it littered throughout human history. We create movies like the ones where the ex gets back with the former flame. In books, i.e. the Bible, think of the prodigal son. And also in sports, think of the Pittsburgh Pirates this last offseason. We can't help ourselves. And trust me, I get it. We've been talking a lot about these potential reunions this offseason from a Hargrave to a Juju. I've even seen James Conner floated out there. Martavis Bryant, A.B. Sorry, sorry, not A.B. Not A.B. That was a Freudian slip right there. We just know way too much about what he's been up to after leaving us. We'd have to be some real desperate motherfuckers for that to happen and bring him back. But just yesterday, a name dropped that, dare I say, makes more sense to come back than some of those others that I just mentioned. Alvin Bud Dupree Jr. Pittsburgh journalist DK from DK Pittsburgh Sports wrote an article where he asks, could Bud Dupree return to Pittsburgh? He will, if the Steelers have their way, I'm told by multiple sources in recent days. But he won't unless the Titans, who have him under contract for the next three NFL seasons, Cut him loose this summer, which they're very likely to do. He's right. The Titans probably will cut Bud. They've been getting rid of players at a record pace this offseason already. And Bud makes sense as a cap casualty as the team would save $9 million by releasing him. Plus, if we're being real, I just don't really think Bud's player over these last two seasons has matched the contract that he initially signed for has only seven sacks over these past two years. Now, injuries did play a part, but you get what I'm saying. But why bringing back Bud Dupree can still add up for the Steelers is the team's kind of down bad in the edge rush depth department. It's been one of those things that's been really flying under the radar this offseason because we've been so enamored with upgrading either cornerback or O-line and Rightfully so, because we're thinking about bringing in starters at those positions, whereas with the edge rusher, we're already set with a TJ Watt and an Alex Highsmith. If we were to bring in someone, they would just be the backup. But we have seen over these last two seasons why having that extra edge rusher is still important, because when TJ got hurt, we were in trouble. And even if Highsmith goes down, we've seen that the pressure just doesn't hit the same. So I'm hoping DK is right and the Steelers would be legitimately interested in bringing back Bud. I just wonder if Bud feels the same way because he left here as a key part of a dynamic duo. And now if he'd return, he'd be the third wheel. And this is no shot at Bud at all. It's just that Highsmith has been balling out. He's in the prime of his career. And he deserves his respect. Now, is Bud willing to take on that type of role? I don't know. Uh, I do think it could still make a lot of sense for him if he did. Because I do feel like, obviously, he's still a starting caliber player when healthy. And that would be the concern if he came here. Oh, would he just be a bench warmer? I just don't really see it playing out that way, though. Look back to 2021 when we brought in Melvin Ingram. He got time, just not the amount he wanted, obviously. But even when TJ and Highsmith were healthy, you could see here he was getting between 40 to 60% of the snaps, which would be absolutely perfect for the Steelers. You could still keep TJ and Highsmith fresh. And then at the same time, let Bud Dupree cook, almost like a six man in the NBA, a la Jamal Crawford or Lou Williams. But if Bud didn't want to go this route, I would understand that too, because you probably get paid more somewhere else. You probably get more time on the field somewhere else. But I think he knows after leaving Pittsburgh, football here, it's just different. If you could be a key part of a championship team, it's special. It's something special. Now, again, it just goes back to what's Bud looking for at this point in his career. He got his big contract, so maybe he is looking for just that championship. That that maybe is the missing piece. Or maybe he's looking for another big contract, and that's why maybe the Steelers wouldn't make as much sense. But maybe if it's just on a one-year deal, it could. So there's all these different variables at play. 
But the one thing that still needs to happen is the Titans need to cut Bud. And it doesn't look like that will happen until free agency officially starts. This dude on Twitter says, regarding Bud Dupree not being a part of the Titans cut so far, he has a partial salary guarantee in 2023, which pretty much means the Titans will have to wait until the start of the new league year to release him. So, yeah, we'd probably have to wait till March 15th before this becomes a real legitimate discussion. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you want to see Bud Dupree back, what do you think would be the right price? Do you think it makes sense for him? Does it make sense for the Steelers? Just let me know. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. That's it for Big Deke News. Stay chilling. Peace.